Hey, it's Mike here from the Board Game Barbecue. I'm here to talk to you today about Gussie Gorillas by Nick Murray and sent to us by Bitewing Games. In this game, three to ten of your friends are going to be gorillas who are going to be grooming each other and trying to show off by collecting the most interesting things from everyone's little areas that they're trying to pick clean. Uh, we're going to be competing for some bananas, which are these lovely little banana tokens here. And we're going to be doing that by using these cards. Now this game comes with many, many cards. This is why it plays so many people, which is fantastic. And it's a really, really fun game. It's a game where you can't see what's in your hand, but you can see what's in everyone else's hands. And you're going to be trying to convince them to trade. So you're going to have a stack of 11 cards and you're going to be holding it up, trying to convince people to swap your card for theirs. But are you holding a good card? Are you holding a bad card? You don't know, and you're not allowed to know. Uh, so you're gonna be looking at other people's cards and trying to get the most points. They might have an eight, they might have a 12, they might have a one, and you're gonna be trying to collect those cards. When you swap cards with people, you're gonna put them in a tableau in front of you, and that card that you took from them is gonna become your points. If you like, if you put up a card and it seems like it's everybody wants it, you can actually say, you know what? This sounds like a good card. I'm gonna keep it myself. They might be fooling you, you're not too sure. And you're gonna keep doing this throughout the game and trying to collect the most points. Now be careful, having two 10 point cards seems like a great idea, but the same cards actually cancel themselves out. So you only wanna have one of each card, unless you have something like a split. There is a card in here that's a split card that lets you split those pairs up so that way they don't cancel each other out. Two ones though are an exception where they actually make 11 points. So you might be wanting to try to get a lot of ones in there as well. There are many special cards that have special rules to them that might let you flip a number upside down to turn a nine into a six or a six into a nine or turn a negative point into a positive point. The trick there is, is that you have to use all those special cards. So if you have a card that's reversed to turn a positive into a negative or a negative into a positive, if you only have positive cards, you actually have to apply that to one of those cards. Uh, the winner is the person with the most points at the end of the round, and they are going to get a banana. First person to two bananas wins. Now, this is a really fun game, a really fun way to negotiate with your friends, not quite knowing what you're negotiating with. But there is a variant in this game that my friends had a really, really fun time with. And that's a variant where there's no talking. We're gorillas. We don't talk. All you can say is, hoo, 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 ha, 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 and talk in sort of like a gorilla language. It's a bit silly, but it's really, really fun and created lots of laughter, trying to emote your oohs and ahs in different ways to depict how badly you want that card. Uh, it was really quick, really easy to learn. I taught a group of 10 people straight away and everyone had a really good time. Everyone got exactly what was happening and the game took off. Really recommend this game. Really fun party game for you and your friends. I definitely recommend you check it out.